Today we're gonna make a dog necklace um, using 14 millimeter wood beads. They look like this and they have a four millimeter hole in them. And then four millimeter paracord, which is a seven strand, pop barrel connectors for lanyards. And then the other supplies, you'll just need a pair of scissors, a lighter, and then a, something metal or hard plastic that you can use to kind of push the ends of the paracord to seal them. Um, so I usually start with about a 22 inch piece of paracord just so I have extra. And then just seal each end with a lighter. Be careful that um, you don't burn yourself when you, once it's kind of sealed a little bit, you'll want to Kind of blot it, kind of make it pointed at the end, and do that for both ends. Okay. All right, next thing is to take one end of the barrel connector and feed the paracord through. Because this is four millimeter paracord, it's gonna to be too big to put a knot in and have it fit back down in the barrel connector. So we just simply um, burn the end of it until you see it start to bubble. And then you'll take your hard surface that you're using and kind of press the end of it to make the end kind of fan out a little bit. Okay, and once that cools down, you should be able to pull it into the barrel connector and have a hard end that will not come through the other side. The next step is to just uh, start threading your beads on. I find that I use it about 30, this is, needs to be cut kind of at an angle at this point so that it can go through the bead. So I've cut an angle and then I'm gonna burn it again to kind of make a, a skinnier end on it. Okay. And then I use about 30 beads uh, for a tightly fitting necklace on Addy. All right, after you have this ready, you just start threading the, the beads onto the string. And as I said, I use, and you can do any pattern color, and I would start with probably, you know, at least 28 beads. I use 30 on Addie's collar. It just depends on how long you wanna make it. All right, so we have, um, I have 29 beads strung on there, and I'm putting the, the last bead on now. And now I'm ready to add the, the last end of the paracord. And cut it off. And then I'm gonna burn this end of it as well. And I'm gonna burn it until it starts to bubble. and then push the end down, just like we did on the other end. Let it cool. Okay, once it's cooled, then that's gonna go there. And you have a paracord necklace and it's, it's strong enough that it's gonna withstand um, the dog's just everyday play. And yet if they get caught on something, it will pop, it'll pop loose. So that it's safe for them to wear and if they happen to get caught on a fence or something like that, it just pops loose. All right, so now we're just left with trying it on Mila. It's strong on each end. It's wood beads so that if they happen to chew them, it's not the end of the world. Um, you can use 14, 16 millimeter beads as long as it has at least a four millimeter inside hole. Um, and that's about it. So if she happens to get caught on a fence outside, we can, she'll just quickly, she'll pop it loose. And then we'll just put it on Mila. And come on, Mimi. 
Mira. Sit. Sit. Can you see it? Come here. Over here. Look. Good girl. You look pretty. Good girl.